hey you guys and welcome back to my channel love charms world how are you guys doing today as you can see by the title this is part two of my horrible pregnancy and i hope that you guys watched and enjoy uh the video if you haven't yet go ahead and watch it and then come back and watch this video and then you could get a glimpse into part two um if you're new to my channel don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that like button tell a friend to tell a friend and come on back to my channel um let's jump right into the video shall we okay so as you guys know from my previous video that i was extremely sick during my pregnancy and I basically spent my entire pregnancy in a hospital. I forgot to put some pictures in the video, but some of them were a little bit, you know, they're not cute. But um, a part of uh, what went on in my pregnancy, I broke out really, 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 really bad with pregnancy acne. Like, it was terrible. Um, I think I started breaking out within, I think, uh, I want to say month four that's when it started coming in I want to say month four and then it came in a little on my forehead and then it got worse and worse and worse like I had some you could see the pictures right here like some like they were not cute so um I really thought that um I could use something to clear it up I actually used um what is it called oh my god oh yeah Cetaphil P.S. I noticed that they don't pronounce it Cetaphil like, I think it's Cetaphil that's how they pronounce it when I see it on TV I'm like hmm interesting but the Caribbean enemy pronounce it as Cetaphil um I used the Cetaphil wash during my pregnancy but that was not working and I use it to moisturize prior to my pregnancy that's what I used to use the wash and the moisturizer and it will get my skin going like I cannot put too much on my skin I even tr I cannot put too much on my skin prior to my pregnancy I even went and bought some products from Cetaphil you know just to get my skin um, looking better than what how it used to look and it broke me out so I had to just keep it simple with the wash and the moisturizer and that's it so during my pregnancy while I was breaking out in a pregnancy acne I thought that me using the wash and the the moisturizer would help it helped it a little bit but it didn't um it just it just got worse um as you can see I'm gonna show the pictures and stuff and you could see the before and after with um, um, my pregnancy acne. So, as you can see, this is my post pregnancy. This is how my skin, I will do a close up video as to how my skin is actually looking right now. It's not as at its best yet, but it's on the way. And the two products that I used to help my skin get back to where it should be. So I used um I used the Cetaphil bar soap on um, the deep cleanse and in the morning and in the evening I went old school if you're Caribbean or you know or you're familiar with it I used <laughs> Nadinola uh soap to help bright um to get rid of the, the dark spots and everything. So those are the two that helped me and I used the Cetaphil um moisturizing um lotion to moisturize my face morning and night and that's what helped me to clear up my skin now um as you can see during my pregnancy i broke up from here the whole of my entire face down to here there are still dark spots there let me come up in the, the camera there are still dark spots there let me move this but it's not as bad as how it looked before as you can see you see this right here it's like clear and then this side and then even my chest I can't really 
let me see. You could kind of see the dark spot, but it was like all hair. I will show you guys videos like before and after. It was all hair. So those are the soaps what I used on my face for my body. Um, I just used, um, I bought, if I have a picture of my phone, I would show you guys. But I bought this soap um, that I um, got from Walmart um, a couple years ago. Um, it didn't work for my face because I guess it was too strong for my face. But it did work for my body. So that's what helped get the, um, some of the dark spots out. And then my mom gave me this black soap, which I can't seem to find anywhere. And she said um, her friend gave it to her, so I can't even... I'm going to show a picture as well. And that's what helped as well with my skin. As you can see, there's still um, some dark spot there, but it's not as bad as before. When I say, as you guys can see, my skin looked crazy, okay, during pregnancy. Then again, I didn't go anywhere. I was just from home to the hospital, home to the hospital, because as you know, I was extremely sick. So nobody really saw me during my pregnancy, but um, I'm really glad how my face is looking now. There is still a lot of work. Uh, however, I did went to the dermatologist, um, even though the soap and soaps were working for me, but I wanted I wanted to get my skin back on track to be clear as of how it was before. I did went to the dermatologist and um, she prescribed something. I think I took a picture of it. Um, I should place it here or here for you guys to see. I do not know how to pronounce this. I'm not going to try to pronounce it. That did not work out for my skin. Um, it broke me out. <laughs> it was breaking me out and I was like, no, I can't. I can't do this so I had to resort back to what was working for me which was those two soap with a which is the Cetaphil deep cleansing soap and um, the what do you call it the Nadinola soap so Cetaphil in the morning with the um the Cetaphil moisturizing soap moisturizing lotion and in the night when I'm going to bed I use the Nadinola if you're Caribbean or if you're familiar with that, you know I will show pictures. I use that um, to help with the dark spots and also I use the Cetaphil Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I stick to those two and they've been working so far. And also you have to drink a lot of water to stay, you know, hydrated for your skin to be, you know, you know the drill. So those are, um... The two soaps that I use to help help pregnancy acne. It's it was it was crazy. And I like how my skin looks now. Can't complain. Yeah. So I will link them down below if I find them on Amazon. I just bought them from my local um beauty supply store that's close to me. And yeah, that's where I got them. Uh, yeah, so hopefully after I'm done breastfeeding, I could go, um, get my skin into better health because the dermatologist said there, there was not much that they could do right now because I'm still breastfeeding and you know, you don't want to do something and then your milk stopped flowing for the baby. So yeah, um, I hope you like this video. Oh, let me show you cause that I really use these soaps. Hold on. These soaps. Hold on. A little bit embarrassing but this this is what I put the um the not in all this open um you got to be careful because it was stained the countertop you got to make sure you wash it off afterwards anyways this is the set of full bar soap so it's proof that I actually do use them so morning the deep cleansing um set of full bar soap and in the evening the not in all um bar soap it helps with the dark spots and everything and get your skin back on track that's what worked for me i'm not sure about anyone else that's what worked for me um i hope you guys like this video don't forget to hit that like button that subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend and stay tuned for next week's video sunday at 5 p.m same flat <laughs> sunday at 5 p.m same time same place see ya bye